All right, welcome back everybody. December 5th, run streak day 63. Also, once I get done with my 5K here, that will be 60 days in a row of running five kilometers or longer, or longer. Now, it's very late in the afternoon. It's been a really busy day. Didn't have time to run earlier. I'm kind of rushed at the moment because the sun's going down and I don't want to be out here running around with no headlamp when the sun goes down. I didn't think about bringing my headlamp with me for some reason, but we're back at McHenry Park. We're going down the hill over by Riverview Park. Then we're gonna run on the Neil Smith Trail. I'm just gonna do a 5K. I don't have time to try to stretch it out to four miles or anything longer. I just gotta get the run done. That way I can complete my 60 day 5K streak, which was my goal. And then, you know, I might end that streak. Don't know if I'm gonna run a 5K tomorrow. I'm gonna run tomorrow. We're still doing day 64 tomorrow, but it might just be a mile or two shorter run, kind of like a rest day or something. I'm actually wearing my trail running shoes because the plan was originally to drive over to a new trail, a new state park that I found. But unfortunately with today being so busy, that didn't work out. So now I'm running on the pavement in my trail running shoes, but these are pretty comfortable and pretty lightweight. So it's not, uh, not that big of a deal to run on pavement in these. Inga's also running, she's back there. I got started before she did just cause again, we're in a little bit of a hurry here and her run's not gonna take as long as mine. But she's on day 33 of her run streak. So she's still banging them out, doing an awesome job every single day. Yeah, the crazy thing is it's four o'clock in the afternoon here but uh, my busy day isn't over i haven't even put out yesterday's video i still gotta do the whole description make the thumbnail do the chapters tag it all that stuff so as soon as i get home i'm gonna want to eat too um so i'm probably just gonna do like a quick easy dinner and then get that video out as quickly as possible. Right before we came here though, we did go hit up a couple of stores, a couple of grocery stores and Kohl's. So after the run, I'll show you guys what we got there. I know I just did a mini grocery haul from Trader Joe's the other day, but why not? We'll do another one. They're always fun. So I just remembered, <laughs> there's another thing I was planning on doing today in the uh, video, aside from the uh, little grocery haul store hall um so i made a list of my top 10 christmas movies now i also made inga do a list of her top 10 christmas movies and we're gonna watch one movie every night leading up to christmas and the movie will be picked at random from the two combined lists so stay tuned for that Okay, hit our halfway point. Turned around at 1.63 miles just to ensure that we're over the five kilometer mark. Now we're heading back. So I guess the good news is the running footage from today's video should be pretty short and easy for me to edit tonight. We're done with our run, 3.25 miles. Pace was 8.32. I'll put the Strava information up as usual. 
but we did it. We got our 60th 5K done, 60th in a row, I should say, done. Also run streak day 63 in the books. We are gonna head home and eat some dinner, but I'll show you guys what we got from the store. And again, Christmas movie list coming soon. All right, let's take a look at what we got at the store here, grocery wise anyway. We went to three different stores for grocery items. We went to Costco, to Target, and to Walmart. And we just grabbed a few things at each store. So starting on this side, we got some tofu, two packs of our favorite extra firm tofu. These are $6.50 per package, and you get four pounds per package. So a really great deal. Also got this Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, 12 pounds there. It was $7.99 for that. Pretty good deal there. Also at Costco, we got these S. Rosen's mini French rolls. You get 18 of these things and it's only $4.99. So a pretty good price there. This side is also from Costco. They had this 10 pound bag of the yellow potatoes and they were actually on sale for $4.99, which is quite a bit cheaper. That's actually half of what they were last time we were there. They were $9.99 last time. So really great deal on those. We got these Waterloo sparkling water, and this is the fall collection. So it has spiced apple, grape, and cranberry. And it was $5.69, I believe, for this package here for 24 of them. So pretty good deal there. Now over at Walmart, we got a couple packages of flour tortillas, one large and one medium. We got a couple shallots. We got some more bread here. They had these for just a couple bucks for some just like uh, sandwich rolls or whatever. Got some tomato sauce there. This is already like pre-spiced uh, tomato sauce that I use for different things. Inga wanted some strawberry hibiscus tea so she grabbed this here see if that's any good over at target we got some good stuff though we got some wee yogurts the dairy-free wees she got strawberry and mango as well i don't really eat yogurt that much so that's all on her there uh, our favorite soups were over there though and they were on sale for two dollars 69 cents per can we got two of the plant-based chicken and rice and two of the hearty lentil and vegetable now if you're looking for this well yes brand there is also a plant-based chicken noodle but that actually does have egg in it so if you're like us and you follow a, a vegan diet you don't want that one you want the plant-based chicken with rice that one is good to go now also we got this uh, dark chocolate peppermint coffee from good and gather here 5.99 for that package of coffee so that should hopefully last us most of the month if not all month right and the last thing we got over at target are these oat milk non-dairy creamers we got two different flavors white chocolate mocha and peppermint mocha now we saw the peppermint mocha one on i believe that was amanda rothrock's channel um so shout out to Amanda there. But yeah, it looked good when we saw it on her video. So we decided, you know what? We're gonna go over there, see if we could find it. Not only did we find it, it was only $1.99 for each of these. So it's actually pretty cheap. Usually they're, I wanna say $2.99 for the Good & Gather creamer. So we nabbed up a few of them at that price. Pretty awesome. Okay, so I actually forgot something that we got over at Walmart. We got this little, little mini Christmas tree here. Comes in a little, nice little pot. Figured that this would make our place a little more festive. Nice little decoration for the apartment. And it was only five bucks, believe it or not. Not to mention the fact that we can actually keep this thing alive and keep it growing all throughout the year past Christmas. So, nice little deal there. Now, on to the good stuff. The list. Top 10 Christmas movies of all time, at least according to me anyway. I'm gonna start with my list first, and then I will give you Inga's list as well. Now, in full disclosure, I gave Inga a copy of my list before she made hers to prevent any uh, duplicates. And the, I guess these aren't really in any particular order, but I'm going to start with The Ref. That's right, The Ref. A lot of people may not have actually heard of this movie, but it is indeed a great Christmas movie. It has Dennis Leary in it, Kevin Spacey, and I want to say Diane Keaton as well. It's a great movie. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. Next up, Lethal Weapon. Now again, a lot of people may be thinking, wait a minute, that's not a Christmas movie. And yes it is, it does take place during Christmas 
Home Alone. Home Alone 1, the first one, is uh, on my list here. Uh, that's a classic movie at this point, especially for people my age, because I was around that kid's age um, when that movie came out. I had the talk boy, I had all that stuff. I used to do prank phone calls with the talk boy. It would slow down your voice and do all that stuff. It was amazing. Next up, The Santa Claus with Tim Allen. And Inga told me that there's actually like three Santa Clauses, uh, but I didn't want to include any sequels in my list here, so I'm just going straight up with the original, The Santa Claus. Uh, next movie, number five here, Ernest Saves Christmas. That's right, Ernest Saves Christmas. Um, it's kind of dating myself here because these movies are a little bit old, but Ernest Saves Christmas is a great classic movie. If you've never seen any of the Ernest movies, there's also a Ernest uh, Scared Stupid for Halloween and some other ones. I don't remember them all, but they're all funny. They're all great movies. Next up, Jingle All the Way. So an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie that's actually a Christmas themed movie but it's great comedy it's not an action movie or anything like that it's a great comedy if you haven't seen that one go check it out next up gremlins and again some people might be thinking wait a minute that's not a christmas movie it is i kid you not i looked all these up to make sure i verified that they are considered christmas movies gremlins is indeed a great classic christmas movie uh, next up here the long kiss good night now this movie has samuel l jackson and gina davis in it Again, a brilliant Christmas movie. If you've never seen it, go check it out. But it's more of an action movie that, again, kind of takes place throughout the Christmas season. But a great movie. Inga's never seen it, so I'm looking forward to her watching that. Next up, Scrooged with Bill Murray. Super classic Christmas movie. Hilarious Christmas movie as well. One of Bill Murray's best movies, in my opinion. Again, I'm probably dating myself here, but that's okay. And last but not least, this was the first one on my list, actually, so you may even consider this to be my top Christmas movie of all time. Well, maybe not top, but it's pretty high up there. Die Hard with Bruce Willis, the original Die Hard, not, again, any of the sequels or anything like that. Great movie, great action movie, but again, also takes place during the Christmas season. All right, now let's move on to Inga's list. Now, Inga's list has some newer movies they're not all as classic as some of mine but she also has some like really old ones as well as some like newer ones so starting from the top here love actually i've never seen it don't know what it's about uh, apparently i'm going to end up watching it though this one almost made my list this next one national lampoon's christmas i think it's national lampoon's christmas vacation i believe but either way great movie chevy chase uh, Randy Quaid, I believe, is in that as well. Fantastic movie. Now, she put on Home Alone 2, so she put the sequel, Home Alone 2, the one where he's in New York. If I had to pick, I'd probably say Home Alone 2 might actually be the better movie over, um, apparently there's like three or four Home Alones now, but if you go through just the first two, the original and the sequel, the sequel may be better in this case. While You Are Sleeping, I, I don't know what that is, so I'm interested to find out what that one actually is. We'll see. Trading Places. That's right. Trading Places. Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, another classic Christmas movie. Then she has Bad Santa, which I want to say I've seen before. Can't remember if it was actually funny or not. We'll see. We'll find out. I think that has Billy Bob Thornton. Is that right? Is that his name? Yeah, I think so. All right, next on her list, A Muppet Christmas. Now that actually almost made my list as well. A Muppet's Christmas is great. And next up is a true classic Christmas movie, Miracle on 34th Street, which pretty much everybody has seen that. If not like on purpose, you've probably seen it just watching TV during the holidays when you're over at your relative's house or whatever. They just play this all, you know, all December long, basically. Great movie though. Next up, another very classic Christmas movie. It's a Wonderful Life. That's right, it is a wonderful life, indeed. And last on her list, don't know if this is actually her top movie or not. This is another one that I've, can't say I've ever actually heard of it or seen it. Bad Mom's Christmas. So we'll see, we'll see what Bad Mom's Christmas is all about. So basically what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna cut these up and separate them all. 
put them in a hat and we're gonna draw one out every night from tonight up until Christmas basically. This list will get us through Christmas day. And we're just gonna watch one a night at random. So we'll see how that goes. All right, well that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you everybody for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see the run streak continue. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and you wanna support this channel. Ring the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I drop a new video. Till tomorrow everybody, take care.